Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is going to be a discussion on septuplets. Counting them, feeling them, just like we did with quintuplets a little while ago. So, the difference between a septuplet and a quintuplet is that this time we're dealing with seven notes over the course of a quarter note. Sounds like this. Much like the quintuplets, there is a very specific way of counting these. Well, there's a number of ways of counting these, but the way that I count it is, again, an Indian counting rhythm. Uh, it's very similar to Steve Smith and Pete Lockett. It goes, Taka de na ge na ga, Taka de na ge na ga, Taka de na ge na ga, Taka de na ge na ga. Let's try it on the pad. Just nice and slow. Don't even worry about the metronome. Play along with me here. So, Taka de na ge na ga, Taka de na ge na ga, Taka de na ge na ga, Taka de na ge na ga. As with quintuplets, the most important note is ta. I want you feeling that pulse, the quarter note. Also similar with the quintuplets is that we should be playing these in and out of other subdivisions, stuff we're more comfortable with. For example, sixes and 32nd notes. So you should try and work on all of the examples regarding septuplets like that, in and out of one or more comfortable subdivisions. This way it will give you a better perspective on what you're doing. If you just work on septuplets for about an hour, it's going to just seem like notes and it won't really help you in you know real world situations. You won't be able to apply them within music. So again, like the quintuplets, let's take a look at all the individual note placement points we can accent within a septuplet. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a flam rhythm similar to how we did in the quintuplets but this one's actually going to be quite a lot harder so let's start it really slow it's going to be a combination of swiss triplets switching lead every time so there's also going to be alternating flams we're going to have two left lead swiss triplets then a left flam and then the exact thing reversed so we got left flam left right left flam left right Left flam, right flam, right, left, right flam, right, left, right flam, repeat. It's kind of tricky. Let's hear it kind of slow and then we'll hear it sped up a little bit. So. The next thing I'd like to do is let's make a groove out of it. Just like we did with the quintuplets, let's do a double bass thing. And again, you know, when you're first starting this, hit really hard. It's going to help you feel it. It's going to really work in for your muscle memory and all that kind of stuff. Once you're a little bit more comfortable with that, and again, feeling that pulse, that quarter note, then we can start to take it to the next level and think about improvising over top of it. So I know these may have seemed a little out there, a little much for some people to want to even use or bother working on. But I assure you, especially when we get into the more advanced polyrhythm stuff, which I know most of you are interested in, this stuff is going to be unbelievably important. When we get to the septuplet based polyrhythms that are all cut up really weird, if you don't have these kind of fundamentals down beforehand, it's just not going to work. So 
I highly suggest and I really hope you enjoy working on this kind of stuff until we get there because it's really going to help you in the long run. So until next time, subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.